So I started digging him out and he fucking got up, mate. I swear to you, he's like fucking like a big bear. And I thought if he if he comes at me, I'm he's gonna fucking fold me up like a pretzel. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so we've ended up We've spoken quite a lot about the good times at West Ham, but I am intrigued to know what's the most painful memory you've ever had playing for the Hammers. Losing that semi-final. Oh yeah, but really? Yeah, even yeah. though I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come on in in a, a way, but broke me up, man. Yeah, you, you, what we were talking about the last game at the Bolin, and it felt like it was written in the stars. I felt like it was written in the stars, like Europa League run for your send off. Me as well, yeah. I started to believe that when when we when we got. You know, like you miss out Barcelona. Yeah. It was like catch 22 for me. So I'm like, I want to play at the new camp, obviously. Yeah. That's Barca in my last ever season. Yeah. And then when they lost to Frankfurt, we're like, actually, we might have a better chance. You don't know. But we knew Frankfurt was a good side. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was heartbreaking, honestly. And uh, obviously, we were sending off with Chris and then they scored and, um, I was gutted, like honestly gutted, but it was still an incredible, incredible run, incredible mm. achievement. But that was for me was was the saddest moment. I mean, when we got relegated under Avram, I, I had hernia surgery, so I didn't play the last four games. So it was like I wasn't, I was a part of it. Of course, I was, mm. but I wasn't there. And yeah, it, was, it wasn't like, but and I felt like at that time the club needed a sort of re, a, a restart and a refresh. So. When I look back now, it wasn't probably the worst thing that happened to the club. Um, but losing that was just so sad. I, I've managed to just about get over it now and look back and Do you know what, Jay, it was so fun. I say so funny. I was, I mate, mean, I was fucking, I had tears coming down my face in the dressing room. And I was looking at Ben Johnson and he was broke. Mm. And then you got a, you take that, and I was gutted inside, of course, but. Um, obviously Crest got sent off and I see him and he was he was absolutely distraught mm. um, and I said to Dave Martin I was, Dave Martin obviously a big West Ham fan mm. we were standing there together and we were both fucking so gutted and I said right so what at what point do we fucking hammer Crest here because yeah yeah like, not as in but as in like let's lighten the mood a little bit we're, we're out you know like there's right. no point dwelling on it yeah so I went and sat next to him. Does that lighten the mood for him? <laughs> well, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> and he had like the towel over his head and and I, he was sitting there and he, you could tell he was like, and I looked at him, I went, you're right, mate. And he went, oh, no. I went, at what point do I fucking hammer you, geez? <laughs> and he went, oh, not, not this early. <laughs> and I went, no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> because he done it to me in the book. Have you? You haven't read it, have you? With with Van Outovic. Nah, go on. So we was fucking. T we lost in the last minute against it, one game, and I'd 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 had an, like enough. Mm. And so I thought, right. So I, a lot of the time as captain, I'd done it on purpose to mm -hmm. get a reaction. So I walked in the dressing room, and we'd just lost, and um, I started fucking hammering. Like I started like chatting and nodding or whatever, and and I thought, and I already knew I'd pick on Marco, right? Because I know he's going to fucking start back. Cause there's no <laughs> point shouting at someone that don't fucking shout back. Yeah, you just needed to sort of get that off your yeah. yeah also bet. create a re so so all the boys ah oh, right I mean? like to create a sort of reaction. We sh like we should fucking care about this exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, who was this against, Mark? It's Wolves at home. Do you right. remember we lost in under Pellegrini? I can't, I can't one remember. one nil in the last minute. Yeah, I do remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was that was that a Dharma or something? He come on as a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started fucking having a go or whatever, and I and then I I dug Marco out, and I knew because he's a fucking madman, right? <laughs> I love him to be. <laughs> he does seem like a madman. Yeah, I love him yeah, to be. Yeah. So you have to know Marco because, like, he has this personality and persona of Marco and Outovich and all that, but mm. he's fucking unreal, mate. Honestly. <laughs> So I started digging him out and he fucking got up, mate. I swear to you, he's like fucking like a big bear. And I thought, if he if he comes at me, I'm, he's going to fucking fold me up like a pretzel. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so we've ended up having a fucking proper go at each other. It's just the reaction I wanted. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everyone fucking... Anyway, so it's all, everyone's jumped in, jumped in the way of us and all that. And I'm fucking I'm like boiling. Marco's fucked off through everything, fucked off in the, in the treatment room, whatever. And I was sat in there raging. I've looked up and I've seen Chris 
with a smile on his face. And I went, fuck you looking at? He went, mate, you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, it just broke the eye. So yeah. I, was, I, thought, I, I wanted to fucking go mad at him, but he was just laughing after. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to get him back for that. <laughs> How tense does the dressing room get? Like, does it, does it ever boil over to scraps and that or not? Yeah, loads of times. Does it? Yeah, yeah lo loads. But it, it is, it's, it's like, you get to that level for a reason, Jack, you know, because mm. like, and, and winning is massive. And there was times where we didn't play so well. So I thought, fuck it, yeah, I'm just going to normally have a go at someone that's probably played well. And I know he's going to have a go back at me. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you just sometimes you just do it for a reaction. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You speak really openly about the like the sort of negative times and, and the positive. And in your book, I have read the bit about um, the sort of dark days. Uh, that 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 sort of infamous match against Burnley now with the fan protests going up to the board and fans ran on the pitch. I don't know if you remember it as as, as well as we, where us West Ham fans, Stevie. But a, a player ran on, planted a corner flag in the middle of the pitch, and you sort of grappled with one as well, didn't you? Mm. What what was going what was going through your mind during that day? Because that was quite that was quite tense scenes. That wasn't it. Yeah, I thought we was under a bit, of, and I I think it was it was it was a a point of just people boiling over because of the stadium move, and they weren't happy, and we wasn't playing well, of course, and um and I, I I've always had the view as like I've my my family have bought West Ham kits for me since I was born, right? And mm. I supported the club and had West Ham lunch boxes and backpacks for school and all. Did that you have a big shit. pillow? I had a really big West Ham yeah, pillow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not uh, yeah. I had, I had West Ham fucking sheets at one point. Yeah, right, when I was younger. So I had as much right as anyone to have an opinion and and which and and I, obviously you got to remember everywhere I go, I talk about West Ham, mm. like whether it's in the garage or it's in the in the, in the shop or wherever. Um. It's your life, isn't it? It's literally your life. Like there ain't a day in the last since I've been eleven. I ain't spoke about West Ham, right? So I've never even really considered that. Like yeah. I, it's mad. That is mad. So and you got uh, obviously all my mates that support West Ham, and we haven't had a good game or we've won or whatever. Whenever I speak to them, we're talking about football within thirty seconds. There's nothing else to fucking talk about. You, know I mean? <laughs> like, you talk about West Ham or players or whatever. Yeah. That's why so, you did 10 minutes on Sharks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer talking about that. <laughs> Fucking use, change the subject quickly. But yeah, and then I didn't think, I, I still don't think it's right that that you run on a pitch. And also in this day and age, like the, the players on the pitch are my mates. Yeah, you know, like some of them are really close mates and you don't know if whether I, some, some madman's got sank on them or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm. So, just my fucking instinct to fight you know what I mean mm. and, uh, it is green straight yeah. <laughs> yeah. and it helped that I had studs on and he had trainers and he <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it was just a win-win for me <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah and I, I say in the book that, that um, I was obviously a West Ham fan as well and I wanted this to do so well and I was fucking angry as, so um, I think it was just just everyone just boiling over and then uh yeah, I say as well that that I was so pleased that David Moyes uh, stuck with his word and we went away. Mm. And he said, I, look, listen, I don't give a shit. And I thought, I thought, thanks, fuck, someone else has got a set of bollocks here. Because well, you know that mean? was that was the next day you were due to... Next day, yeah. You, what, were you at Miami? Miami yeah. yeah. And what, he still... Because when that all happened, did you think... Can you imagine in the dressing room after, like, it's just, it was absolute fucking... And I, I was actually, I was so sad... I wasn't angry. I was just so sad that the club that I love like resulted to that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I just felt embarrassed for the club. Um, I didn't ever want to see us like that. So, um, uh, yeah. And then the gaffers just said, "I don't give a shit what's happened today. We're gonna we're gonna go away as a team, uh, come back better and stronger." And I f and I just looked at him and I thought, "Thank fuck, you got a set of bollocks," because. A lesser man would have gone, oh, we can't go away now. I'm going to get hammered. Because if the press pick that up. Oh, they're they... going to pick it up. Of course, yeah. the press pick everything up. And we was photographed on the fucking beach in Miami. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we come back and survived uh, and, and actually fucking played really well as a team. Mm. So, 